What's going on guys, it's your boy Dev back with another one of these Pokemon visits here. We're going to go ahead and do a tier list before the Worldwide Download Celebration. Now, if I'm not correct, I did a tier list last year pertaining to the Worldwide Download Celebration. So, this year, I'm going to keep the, the tradition and I'm going to do it again. So, I'm going to do this tier list a little differently this time. I'm going to go ahead and start from the bottom. I'm going to go up. So, first things first, we have the LR7 year anniversary units. <clears throat> we do have some dupes in this tier list, so if I see dupes, I'm not going to put them up on there. Um... Of course, you know, seven anniversary units are definitely, they're both Z tier. You can say one's better than the other, but I think that the fours are better than the gods. Personally, of course. But yeah, you can definitely say the gods are better. You can say the fours are better. It goes either way. They're both easily some of the best units in the game. Um, next unit will be LR Zamasu. Ridiculous damage reduction, um, double supering, defense, attack stat 10 million attack stat with like 30 percent damage reduction defense looking immaculate i think he's right here very easy he's an easy z tier for sure um next unit uh father son gala gun trunks of vegeta best unit in the game best category in the game one of the best passives in the game amazing active skill great unit um moving on to lr golden frieza i think lr golden frieza <clears throat> i think lr golden frieza z now of course, you guys know LR Golden Freeze's passive has his damage reduction run down each time he's on turn. If well, if I'm not correct, does it run down each time he's off turn? I want to take a quick little glance at that. Let me get Shine the Limit. Let me get you. And then let me get Legendary Power. Um, does LR Golden Freeze's passive run down as he's off turn? Okay, at the start of each turn. Not the sixty percent. Okay, so yeah, this is ninety percent. Okay, damage reduction reduced by ten percent at the start of each turn. Okay, so that's each time he's on turn. Okay, um, so yeah, um, his damage reduction does run down by ten percent. He's definitely an amazing, immaculate, dumb, stupid unit. This unit could definitely work well everywhere in the game for sure. Of course, he's definitely in Z tier. It's, it's easy. It's very easy. Damage looks great. His damage reduction on, alongside with his defense looks pretty goddamn good so this guy's i mean what, what can i say this guy's he's stupid he's he's just there um lr goku can go on or z an amazing uh, nuking and just just downright dumb crazy unit great link set great super attack effects this unit is we all know how how well this unit does across the game so they're easily z um goku and piccolo i would say goku and piccolo or z also guard damage Link says, is, Link says, alright, says, alright, but yeah. Other than that, Z for sure. This unit is absolutely immaculately. It's a very good unit for Z tier. Um, Kyle can Goku Z. You know Kyle can Goku. He does practically almost everything. If I'm not wrong, what does he do? He he, he changes. He gains 100% attack defense on his 18 keys. This guy does everything. Yeah, 100% attack defense on his 18 key. Um, what else? He gains uh. Yeah, he gained seven key for the first seven turns. He's a key changer. He also has what else? You know, of course, he has active skill for super battle road 59% or less. He's great. A great unit for sure. We all know why he's in Z. He's he just he shits out like 16 million attack stats with like what like 300k defense. This guy's stupid. Oh, well, post post super, we don't even know what his fucking defense at, but yeah, he's pretty goddamn good. Um, LR Giant A Vegeta. I'll definitely say LR Giant A Vegeta is definitely not a Z tier unit. But I would say he's S tier. Um, now, albeit this guy's link set is a little weird, of course, because he doesn't have. Does he have a bear for battle? If I'm correct, he does not. Uh, I just want to take a quick look. Do you have a bear for battle? You don't. Yeah, they cucked him out of a bear for battle. I think that's pretty, pretty stupid. Um, this guy, of course, he is a unit that does quite well in. Obviously, in extreme super battle, super battle, he is an AOE unit. You still use him in the Fortnite World Tournament. He guards. This guy's. Yeah, what can I say? The only thing that's a problem with him is that he doesn't have prepare for battle, so he could struggle for key. I mean, he has key here and he has key here for when his guard is activated. But of course, you gotta go up against Goku. Um, his super attack effects do suck, but this guy's this guy is solid. He is solid. He's definitely an S tier unit for sure. I can't I can't put him any lower. I can't say he's A. I'm sorry. Uh let's see. Um <clears throat> of course this is a dupe, so I'm not even gonna use him. This is the the LR gods who are right over here, of course. Um so LR trunks and um is LR future trunks and uh go on. Uh I think they're A. 
I don't think this unit's S. I feel like the problem is with this unit is that they got to get their key spears off. If they create no key spears, they're a dead unit. If they create key spears, they're an amazing unit. Of course, this unit does have utility and of their revival. You know, transforming to Gohan, he gets you killed on purpose. That's the whole deal. Then you go ahead and get your uh, your little revival off. He gains his damage rush for the rest of the battle, and he just shits out like seven million attacks out or whatever. Yeah, so he's definitely A for sure. It's the only problem with this unit is that I feel as if though this unit is kind of situational. Um, LR got Goku and hit R definitely A. Are they better than Gohan? I would say yes. I feel like LR got Goku and hit H. All right, but I think it's fair to put him in A. Also, excuse me. Um, let's see, LG number, I think LG number is S, one of the best defensive units in the game, better than Vegeta, I would say, no, I would say that he's not better than Vegeta based off of the fact that LG number does not have the partner, and LG number does not have the team. So, yeah, he's definitely S, but I think he just doesn't have those specific factors. Um, LR, Krillin, and Gohan, I think this unit is A. I feel like, although I've been shitting on this unit way too many times, I think this unit is definitely A. This unit could definitely do something. Although this unit, I feel like this unit just doesn't help your box in any way, shape, or form. I cannot discount that this unit can definitely help you in specific places. I, I can't discount that. I can't. Um, LR... LR Vegeta and Goku. I think this unit is, I want to say this unit Z, but this unit is not on the level of all these units right over here. I can't say that. Hell no. Hell to the fuck no. I think that this unit is not, is it better than, is he better than um, LR Giant A Vegeta? I would probably say, I would probably say no because of the guard, although his damage is more free than Vegeta's. I think, I think it's interchangeable, but if I'm being honest, I think that Vegeta is better because, you know, guard, you can't. You can't shit on guard. You, you just can't. Better than uh, Janemba? Yes, I would say so. Because Janemba has a lack of teams. Um, Let's see. Uh, LR Namigoku. I would say LR Namigoku is S. LR Namigoku is not on the level of any of, the, any of these guys up in Z. I'm sorry. It's just how it is. He better, is he better than Giant A Vegeta? I would say yes. Because you can get more use out of him before, more than Giant A Vegeta. Giant A Vegeta is just... He's... I mean... Uh, yeah, he's cause just like the teams he's on. No? No, no, no. I feel like I, I'm, just, I'm not even going to use that that excuse. I'm just going to say he's, I would say you, you would use Namigoku more than you would use Giant A Vegeta for sure. Giant A Vegeta would probably just be like one of those slot three units and Namigoku will be used for his active skill and him stacking his defense. So I feel like Namigoku is definitely better than the Giant A Vegeta. I would say so. I would say so. I feel like he is. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Frieza. Better than Goku in S. You know, you're always going to be fighting a fucking Goku. You know, his his him starting out with his star of turn of attack and defense for those turns so you can stack up over it definitely helps out Frieza, so it's definitely there. Uh, you got a dupe Jinemba right there. You got Tech Ogeta. Tech Ogeta is, I'm going to say, Tech Ogeta's S, but I feel like Tech Ogeta is better than Janemba. Only based off of the facts. That Janemba, of course, like I said already, has a lack of teams. Um, so we're over to the next unit. We have, um, also, excuse me, guys. I've been, <laughs> I just got finished, like, eating some crackers and that shit. <laughs> and my movie are burping a lot, so excuse me. Uh, yeah, we're going over to the next unit. I have Piccolo and Goku. Piccolo and Goku, I feel like this unit is quite underwhelming although they do have one purpose to be served it that is for this goku and piccolo unit although this unit of themselves i think this unit is not too good i feel like what makes them i feel like what could bring this unit like could revive this unit is the fact that their best thinking partner is this goku and piccolo from the saiyan saga but you know this garlic jr special goku and piccolo or you know the garlic jr movie or whatever you want to say um i could definitely say that a i feel like low a is fair but better than krillin and gone yeah i would say so but yeah, I'm um, going over to the next unit. We have Super 17. Super 17 is easily one of the worst summonable LRs to release ever. It's because his design is absolutely terrible. Now, granted, you could actually get him to work well on the Androids and Target Goku team. But other than that, this unit was just not defi this unit was not designed in the right way. I feel like this unit was just weird. He has one of the worst key mechanics in the game. And he was designed to, to work with Androids units, but they they made him a GT Bosses category leader, so yeah, that's the thing with him, he's just, his damage is unimpressive, his defense could look alright, but other than that, he's really just, he's a superbly wonky unit, um, Tapion Minosha, I would say are a solidified B unit, because Tapion Minosha, the thing is with Tapion Minosha, is that this unit, it's HL Tapion, or not, that's just what it is, 
Now, sure, this unit supports their own category team, but the big problem with them is their defense because their damage reduction within the same turn, their damage reduction could get pierced, and this unit can fuck your world up. So B, I think, is a fair placement for them. Um, LR Bardock. I think LR Bardock is quite solid. I think that LR Bardock is... I would want to put him in A, but I don't think LR, LR Bardock is not on level of these units. So I would definitely put him right behind Tapion Minosha. Or either right behind him or ahead of him. Just for the sake of this video, I'm going to put him ahead of Tapion Minosha. Because Tapion Minosha just have one use case in Bardock. You can use him more than Tapion Minosha. Um, also, this is ordered, by the way. Uh... LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I mean, is D tier because Super Saiyan 3 Goku is just a final gambit unit. It's like you get the damage off, he can save you in specific runs of Super Battle Road or whatever else. But other than that, this unit is kind of useless to a sense. Okay, so moving on over to Beerus and Whis. Beerus and Whis, I would easily say, is the worst. And I would not double back on the statement. <clears throat> I think Beerus and Whis is easily the worst summon by LR and Dokkan. Because this unit just does absolutely nothing. 80% attack at the start of the turn with 50% attack and defense when they receive her attack. This unit starts out with no defense. And they recover HP on the super attack effects, but that's just not enough. This unit is not doing you no justice anywhere in the game. At least with S um, SSJ to be Goku, he has stun chance and he can eviscerate an enemy with his big ass attack stat. And Beerus and Whis is like, oh wow. You sit him next to physical Beerus. Physical Beerus, again, his shit rocked because you have to pop an item for him. Um, SCR Beerus and Whis, of course, you know, you have to pop item with them on rotation with him. He has, they have to get hit. Physical Beerus has to get hit. It's it's a clusterfuck. It's just a clusterfuck. Um, going over to the next unit, we have GT Trio. GT Trio, I would easily say is S. Well, I say GT Trio is better than LR Janemba and these guys up here. I would say S because their EZA is definitely quite good. I, this unit reminds me of Go Frieza in 2022, so I would say, I think I think they're fair right here. I think they're f probably better than Janemba because Tech Pan. It's because like they have a leader skill and Janemba does. I really want Janemba to be like pushed up, but Janemba just doesn't have that. He doesn't have that leader skill. He doesn't have that partner to help him out. But anyways, we'll go to the next unit. We have LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. His easy A, they gave him enough, and then they just said fuck his damage. That's really about it. I would say he is C tier. I feel like this unit could have been, he could have been designed way better, honestly. I definitely see it. It's like they gave him his defense. They made him gain defense and a super attack effect, but other than that, it's really, that's really all she wrote. Um, LR go to the trunks. I feel like this unit, I've fell back down to souring on this unit because you just have to really hope that this unit does not get a double super for you it's like they have a good key mechanic but this unit they're on Majo vegeta's 200 leader skill but it's like you it makes no sense to run them their linking partners are not the greatest so i think c tier is perfect for them uh lr Majo vegeta lr Majo vegeta i mean int Majo vegeta exists so why would you use him that's really the the word that's the case scenario of him i mean i like how they designed this passive but they designed his passive like around his speech, which is cool. And I really like how they gave us that Vegeta and Bulma card. But it's other than that, the Majo Vegeta just it hurts. I think Goten and Trunks is better than Majo Vegeta, by the way. Yeah, I mean, he and Majo Vegeta has an AoE for the World Tournament, and like he has stun chance for Super Battle Road. But then it's like other than that, it's really whatever. He's eh. um Trunks and Mai. I would definitely say that Trunks and Mai is probably A. I would say Trunks and Mai is right around here because trunks of mind just has again are locked to their one category team in it of time travelers and future of course so like you know of course time travelers and futures are in a lock one another it's like you know this unit obviously just got better because they they gave more stats buffs and all the other stuff when they gave them their easy a but other than that trunks of mind are just they're not s they're not sitting in the same tier as these units up here tech Gogeta, of course yeah i think i think tech Gogeta's is fine right there no 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 no. trunks and tr um tr dc trio is better uh yeah are you better? GT Trio is better than you guys. Yeah, and then we stop right there. I think that's fair. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, okay. Um, Let's see. LRSCR Broly. Now, LRSCR Broly, of course, is definitely a solid slot one, um, a solid slot two unit, and he has one of the best lane sets in the game because he has just one of those basic-ass Saiyan link sets. Uh, I should have brought up the best linking partner. Oh, it's right over here. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, no, no Dokkan. Okay, let me just bring up. Give me a best linking partner. Of course, let me just use this as an example so I don't have to come back to it. Um, STR Broly, of course. 
if you take a look at some of his best linked partners, you know, you have the third year anniversary LR Vegito, you have uh, Vegito and Tech OG, you have Nami Goku. It's like, it's just like an easy example. Like, you have the LR Super Saiyan Force. This guy has a great standard Saiyan link set. I think that's one of the things that makes him good. Of course, STR Broly. It's like he looks, he, his EZA was great. His, 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 his EZA was definitely great. But I feel like. Other than the new difficult content, it's like this guy is doing a lot. He's the world tournament king. He's effective against all types, against Goku's family category characters. He gains 5 key against pure hybrid Saiyans. He can launch additional super attacks. He can double super. This guy's great. The only issue is that he just, he's just been completely just blown blown off the map by the new meta. So I would say, I would say SCR Broly. I wouldn't say he's A. Because the, the new meta definitely knocked them off. I think Tapio, yeah, I would I would say Tapio and Osha. I'm not underrating them. I think it, I think it's fair. Yeah, because Tapio and Osha just, yeah. You guys know how I felt about them. You guys could go back and see what I said about them. Uh, LR Androids. I would say LR Androids is around C tier. I feel like all they did was just slap. I feel like if they would have slapped defense on their support type passive, I think that would have been cool. But you know, they just slapped like I don't know a certain amount of. Uh, of uh, support on them, and it's just like this unit just doesn't do too much. It's like I feel like this unit is like back here. I feel like they're worse than Super 17. If not, they're better. Not they're better. They're better. Um, let me grab the LR Androids up real fast. LR Androids, of course, you know they just lower attack and both the 12 and 18 key super attacks. They're not getting defense. Of course, they have a 30% chance to dodge with uh, Android support type passive, but that's just not enough, my man. And of course, you trans you transform into 16. I feel like if you had the chance to stay in, stay in 16 permanently, that would have been cool because at least for 16, he's getting defense on his 12 key, so you can definitely make the case. I wish he would have getting defense on his 18 key. I feel like if you just stayed in 16 permanently, that would have been cool. I don't see the issue. I don't see the issue. This unit's lack of teams and them being locked to androids in, in all actuality just doesn't help this unit out in any way, shape, or form. So, I think they're in C easily because they're it's just they're not going nowhere, really. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Who's next? Who's next? Um, LR Bojack. LR Bojack's, of course, if I'm not correct, he is on a 200% leader skill with STR Bojack. He's with Terrifying Conquerors. And let me pull up Bojack real quick because I want to take a quick glance at him. Um, so, of course, you know, Bojack, he is on Terrifying Conquerors and Space Traveling Wars. So, yes, he is on 200% leader skill. <clears throat> so, that's cool. Run up next to SCR Bojack on a 200% leader skill, and he can actually look solid. But other than that, this guy is not really working nowhere else unless it's next to a Bojack unit. So, I'll definitely say that this unit is, uh, well, he's with, he does, uh, I would say, just because of that, I, I could say Bojack is B. I feel like Bojack is held up very good for a four key, hundred percent to stats. Um, LR for sure. Uh, let's see, moving over to physical trunks. I think physical trunks is not S. I would say physical trunks is leader of A. It's like physical trunks. Let's take a look at his passive real fast. I feel like the problem with him is that his damage is superbly underwhelming. He has that sort of, uh, he has that sort of like paradox the the in lr gohan paradox where he looks great on paper he looks all right on paper because they gave him just what he needed but then like in game his damage is not enough it's like you know he starts out with 150 percent attack and 100 percent demon star turn he gains three key and 50 percent attack when attacking stream class enemies of course that's easy to get off um he has a 50 percent chance to crit which is great because you know he kept that plus initial five key and performs a crit hit when his wicked bloodline category enemy which is cool of course you could try him against uh the cooler inside the red zone pause guys give me one second i need some water because i'm talking for like i've been talking for 18 minutes now so um nah i might actually move him down from a because this guy's easy his easy a feels very very underwhelming i feel like he's better is he better than broly i would say his defense can get higher than broly so yeah i would say he's b it's like his easy a just wasn't enough his his easy a feels a little bit mid and I, I can't say he's a he's he, he could probably be low a you can talk me into making him low a because he has to prepare about shocking speed you know and he has a 50 percent chance to crit and he raises defense but you know you have to build up his defense anyways but yeah um oh does he have the same lineage he does okay but um this guy he's solid he's solid he, well he's solid slash he's b's really like the just the, the middle ground aka just mid um below b is just bad and then above b is good but anyways um well to the next unit we have let's just pull, pull let's pull both of them over here the 50 anniversary allies now i'm gonna be very completely honest with you guys i feel like these are both the worst units these are both the worst aging yearly lrs imaginable i feel like the 30 anniversary lrs and the fourth year anniversary lrs were better than the blue fusions 
a year after the Blue Fusions dropped. I feel like that was hindsight. Hindsight 2020, of course. But yeah, um, where would we be putting the Blue Fusions? I think the Blue Fusions are, I think they're just mid. I don't think they deserve the BNC. I think they're just mid. I feel like Dokkan completely dropped the ball in these units. Um, when I say that they're better than Bojack, Tape on Minosha, no, I, I, I probably wouldn't. It's like Tape on Minosha, maybe, but then it's like, you know Bardock. You could Bardock looks better than them. Bro Broly looks better than them. Trunks looks better than them. It's like, yeah, I think Vegeta's better than Gogeta, by the way. But yeah, um, they're B man. They're B for sure. Uh, let's see the third anniversary LR fusion. Let's go ahead and grab Vegeta. Where are you at, buddy? Um, they. I would probably say. Why I say they're Z? It's like Z is so stacked. Z is very stacked, man. I would say. I would say yes. I would say yes, man. They're definitely Z tier units. This these units work well everywhere. Long events, red zone, easy A's, you know, all, you know super battle, chain super battle, Dokkan battlefield. Yeah, see, they're Z. I think Vegeta's better, though, for sure. Um, let's see. Who we move on to next. I feel like oh yeah, LR Jiren. I feel like LR Jiren. He's just he's just a victim of old age. That's really about it. He's like as as he came in, Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road was like staple. As soon as time went on, and like we got God Event, and we got the Red Zone, and now we have Cell Max, this guy is not doing Jack Deadly fuck for you. So I think A is fair because you can still use this guy. This guy could be superbly helpful in Super Bad Room, whatever stage you can use him in. Um, but I think that he would probably be like right here because even better than Krillin Gone. Yeah, yeah, Krillin Gone. They're not the craziest. They're not the craziest. At least with Jiren, he has better linking partners with them, but better than them. Um, yeah. Um, so we're on with the next unit. We have Kalen Khalifa. Kalen Khalifa. I would say Kalen Khalifa's A. I feel like Kalen Khalifa have aged all right over the years. I think they've, they just look, as they give us more fucking peppy gals units to sit them alongside or more universe six units, they just look better and better. I think LR like Kalen Khalifa is better than Goku and Piccolo. No, no, no. Because Goku and Piccolo have the LR Goku and Piccolo Saiyan Saga units. So, hmm. I mean, if we take a look at it, let me actually assess the situation real fast for the Goku and Piccolo unit. Let me assess the situation. Uh, you right here. So, of course, your best unit is them. So, uh, I mean, what? I mean, it's only on Joint Forces, though. And Joint Forces is a dead category team lead. Ooh, buddy, yeah, we bump you down then. We bump you down to, like, right here. Yeah. We're going to bump you down to, like, right here. Yeah, the Blue Fusions are... I could definitely see... It's like, if we take a look at this Goku and Piccolo universe fast, they're just like a build-up unit. It's like, you probably only specifically use them for long events. I mean, they look good aesthetically, but other than that, it's just really about it. Yeah, they have a act yeah, six or more times. This is definitely a long event unit. High chance launch, um, two additional attacks. Um, up to 16, 15 up, send attack, attack performed, launch additional super attack every time the character is going to attack six or more times, HP, yeah. This unit is, nah, nah. I'll probably say the Blue Fusions are better. Because they're, they're basically a long event unit. When they come out, 2021. Yo, that's that's sad. That's sad for a, a 2021 unit. I'll probably say the Blue Fusions are better. This unit is just not too great. Yeah, the Blue Fusions are bad. But it's just like, they look better than this unit. Well, yeah, provided, yeah, provided you're in long events. Yeah, this unit is just, this unit sucks. And Tape and Minosha is just like, damage. Just, eh, it's like one team, and that's really about it. Yeah. Um... I'm probably, yeah, Tape Elmino, I'm sorry, Tape Elmino, it's like, you can use the Blue Fusions more teams than these two, yeah, because you, you won't find yourself using them, because, you know, if I'm not incorrect, lack of teams, I'm mean, gonna keep moving on so I don't stay stuck on one subject, yeah, they'll be on fucking four teams, and then Tape Elmino, let me just pull you guys up real fast, to make sure that I'm not underrating the shit out of you, yeah, <laughs> okay, buddy, anyways, um, of course, you know, Tape Elmino has a good actor, but that's not, that's not gonna resurrect them, you're definitely, you can find yourself probably using the, losing the, you could probably find yourself using your blue fusions in the third slot for them to dodge. That's really about it. That's really about it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. Anyways, um, uh, Spear Bomb Zorb Goku. I'd probably say he's a B or A. And something's telling me to put him in A. Something's telling me to put him in A. Because ceiling, ceiling is seeing a resurgence in Dogon Battlefield. Would that make him better just because of that? He's a, he is an orb changer. He's an orb changing nuker that seals and lowers attack so already a super battle road goat uh but is it really like when i say he's better than str broly 
he, I mean, Broly doesn't make cohesion. I mean, he, he does have cohesion with teams because of his links, just like um physical trunks. But, ooh, Broly does. I Now that I'm thinking about it a little, mm, nah, Trunks' defense looks better than Broly's, though. Yeah. I would probably say he's B-tier. Yeah. I'll probably say Spirit Bombers are Goku's B-tier. I think it's fair to have him, like, right around here. Better than these guys? No, no, no. Because Spirit Bombers are Goku doesn't gain defense inside his 18 key, he gains inside his 12 key. So, yeah, that's pretty important. Even though he, Spirit Bombs are Goku could hold the team together like glue with that um orb changing. But, anyways, um, El Rose. El Rose, of course, you know, he has had buffs to specific category teams on. I feel like if they would have made an orb changer, that would have really helped out Rose, but they did not. They really think that they dropped the, they dropped the fucking. Not even a ball. They dropped a fucking weight on his foot and it's fucked him over. I think this unit's B. He's just damage. He's just damage, damage, damage. And a good amount of these units on this tier list could do damage. So I think he's he's right around here. He does have a 200% leader skill, but like, what's the point of using him on there? It's like, we don't have an orb changer to help him out. We need an orb changer to help him out. Now, I know we got AGO Goku Black, the banner unit from the Trunks and Vegeta banner, but that's not enough. That really isn't enough. So, um, I think he's, I think he's B, because all he's doing is damage, that's really about it. Uh, is he better than Bardock? Is he better than Spirit Bombs or Goku? No. I would probably say no. So, I feel like his Bardock has better defense than Goku, I'll probably throw him back here. Uh, Rose better than Spirit Bombs or Goku? Uh, I would say, I would say no. I would say no, because Goku, his Rambo Orb changing is way more valuable than Rose's damage. Anyways, um, Incel, I would say Incel is A. I say Incel is A because AGL Cell resurrected him along with Physical Cell. That completely helped out Incel a lot, but other than that, I think I would say he's A specifically based off of AGL Cell. AGL Cell completely resurrected this guy out of the ground, even though, you know, link leveling update also helped this guy out too. Anyways, uh, moving on over to the next unit, we have the LR Blue Boys. I think the LR Blue Boys would I probably have to be. I think this unit. I think this unit would have to be B. I'll probably say this unit is B. Yeah, I would say this unit is B because this all this unit is really doing is. Let me, let me actually relook at what this unit does. Cause I, I used to use this unit a lot. I can't remember what they... Yeah, okay, so they gain 50% attack defense and 12 and 18 key super attack, which is cool. They lower attack in both the 12 and 18 key super attack, which is help with a super battle road. They're rainbow orb. Yeah, they're orb hungry. Yeah, they gain two key and launch additional attack. That's okay. Okay, well, I mean, sure. They are definitely... Uh, wait, wait, what the fuck? They don't have over in the flash? Wow, they just totally turn into power. They don't have a pair for battle either. That hurts. That really hurts. If I'm not wrong, they're just they're just a nuking. They're a nuking unit that is orb hungry. They're an orb hungry nuking unit that is useful for super battle road. Okay. Uh so I would probably say that that I mean that makes him good for super battle road super battle. So I'll probably say you, you two I think that's fair. That's fair. <clears throat> um, let's see. We have LRUI Goku. I think LRUI Goku. Guys. I think, okay, Vegito, Gogeta is definitely felt unimpressive after I've used him more and more. So, I say Vegito is like, Vegito better than Kaioken Goku? It's just Vegito with those counters. Nah, 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 nah. I think UI Goku is better than this 30 anniversary Gogeta. I think UI Goku is E tier. It's just like that, him gaining defense as he dodges. And it's quite unlikely that he's not going to dodge for you. Come on now, guys. The slander is ridiculous. It's just because you died from a fucking normal from Red Zone... I don't know who. Red Zone Omega? You died from a fucking Red Zone Omega normal in the first slot? Listen, that's just unlucky. Now, provided you do get lucky, and most players do, you can get those dodges off, and he'll have his defense built up for that one turn each time he dodges. He's also getting key each time he dodges, so he doesn't struggle for key, and he'll do well with his defense, even if he does take a hit, provided he dodges like three or four times, which is definitely possible with a 70% chance to dodge. I think UI Goku has held up very well during the years, and what makes him even better is that he works well in the Cell Max event. So, yes, I think UI Goku is easy Z tier. Um, I don't think he's better than any of these other guys over here besides Gogeta. Gogeta just feels, I feel like Gogeta feels a little bit un unimpressive after he transforms, that's why. But yeah, other than that, yeah. Yeah, I would say so. I would say so. 
Uh, Goku and Piccolo better than Goku and Gohan. No, 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 no. How can Goku better than... No. Yeah, I, I like this. I like this. Yeah, Golden Freeze is fucking... Wow. Um, okay, so Turles. Turles is... I would probably have to say Turles is A because of AGL Turles. Well, I say Cell is better Cell is better than Krillin and Gohan, for sure. Um, Turles is, like... I think Turles is better than Krillin and Gohan. Yeah, Turles is right there. Because AJ of Turles really helped him out. It's just Turles... STR Turles' defense could definitely get your shit rocked in difficult content. AJ of Turles would be sitting there A-OK. -okay. Yeah. It's like AJ of Turles needs a better linking partner other than STR Turles. STR Turles has aged a little bit, so his defense could get you killed. For sure. Um, excuse me, by the way. Uh, the LR Super Saiyan 4s. Now, I've said this already. I've already said this already. I think Goku's better than, better than Vegeta. But these two are definitely Z tier LRs. I would put... I would have to say... Goku is better than UI Goku. And I would have to say... That Vegeta... Vegeta's better than Gogeta. Gogeta, I'm sorry. This this guy is unimpressive as fuck. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I like it like this. UI Goku better than Vegeta. No. No, 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 no. That's, that's, that's unfair. That's unfair. Yeah, I like it like this. That's I like it like that. Yeah. It's just the physical Gogeta after he transforms just... Ooh. He just feels like... He's like, he ages like milk. It's just, it hurts like a motherfucker. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I might I might leave it like this. I'll leave it like this for the sake of the video, but personally, I think that UI is better than this physical Gogeta. Uh, he's not better than Vegito, though. Uh, I would say... Who else is next? We got... Was that STR Vegito? Did we already rank STR Vegito? Yeah, yeah, okay, let's do STR Vegito. STR Vegito, we're gonna go ahead and put him in... I think he's S. I think he's better than Tech Gogeta. I think you guys should know my standpoint on that. I'm going to go ahead and repeat myself anyways, anyways for those who don't know my standpoint on that. Um, let's just do a quick a quick little... Quick little... Uh, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> let's do a quick little like analysis on both these units so you guys can know why I think he's better. Uh, so, okay. So, pre-transformation, Vegeta, of course, you know, he dominates Gogeta. It's not even a discussion. You know, of course... Um, Keeper keys were obtained with, uh, yeah, he gains one keeper keys were obtained, and he has to gain key from his rainbow orbs, but this unit has a chance to create rainbow orbs. I think if this unit created rainbow orbs unrestricted, then this unit will be better. But other than that, I think this unit is better easily because keeper keys are obtained is more reliable than rainbow key spears with a 50% chance to, chance to change rainbow key spears. And, um... Of course, you know, they both have a 30% chance to launch Super Attack, which is cool. But the thing that separates these two is that the Keeper Keys to Obtain is more reliable. And the fact that you get the Patara Fusion way easier than Tech Gogeta's Fusion. You've seen this Fusion more than this one. Easily. And of course, uh, post-transformation, I think that... I personally think that Vegito is better. Because seeing Super Attacks for 10 turns, I feel like th that trumps all this shit right here. Easily. This nullification, I'm sorry guys, this shit is useless. Seeing super attacks for five turns go by it just goes by in a blink of an eye. Um wait, third percent damage reduction? Oh, he loses damage reduction too. That's not fucking good. And five turns in the red zone, that shit that shit burns real quick too. I mean provide unless you're not at the end of it. If you're smart and save it to the end, then no, it doesn't go by too fast because you just blow the units out of the war anyways, anyways with the seven year anniversary LRs. But if you're like in a regular ass long event, then this shit is going to burn way too quickly. So he loses damage reduction and super attack seeing for five turns real fast. I, I mean, it's cool that he's creating rainbow key spears, but he should have just did that unrestricted. Um, and of course, he's a feather thing all types and a 7% chance to crit, which is nice. But I think Vegito is better because, you know, number one, you know, he has crit with his counters. Number two, of course, he's still keeper keys are obtained. And number three, he's seen super attacks for 10 turns. So I think that's the main gig. One moment, guys. I've been talking for 34 minutes, so I have I have to drink water. That should get my throat dry. But yeah, um, of course, Vegito, people would make a counter statement say that he's better because, you know, he's doing all this shit. But, you know, if you really think about it, this shit is going to run out. And he is just, he's worth popping the item for over him. Now, if you truly think about it, again... Let's let's go back to talking about these guys. This guy could technically still take damage too. 
he could. He definitely could. And this guy could take a lot more damage than he could, but it's worth burning the item for him. That way he can shit out more damage than him. It's it's a true fact. This guy does more damage than him. It's it's serious. It's a actual thing. It's a real discussion that this guy does this. He, he does more damage with his counters than he does in his fucking 18 key super attack. Just think about that. Just think about that. But yeah, um, the reason why I said that SCR Vegito is better than Tech Vegito is, is that SCR Vegito's transformation is easier to get off. Keeper Keys for Obtain is more reliable than a Rainbow Orb because, you know, they have a chance to change Rainbow Orbs. And post-transformation, seeing super attacks is far more valuable than having five turns to see a super attack. That's the reason why I say he's better. Um, but anyways, uh, that was a lot to that was a lot to say. Uh, moving over to the next thing. We have LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I think LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is, I would say he is a easy b because he don't really i think what really cucked him is that he's not on a 200 percent leader skill because he does a come on behind his 18 key super attack but they changed the wording of it to some some ridiculous ass name so that makes him unable to be using a come on behind even though he does the fucking come on behind anyways he's in the same boat as lr jaren except i feel like well is he the same boat as LR Jiren? Maybe I'm... No, I'm sleeping on him. Yeah, I'm sleeping on him. He is in the same boat. He's better than LR Jiren. It's just like his Lincoln partner is not too good. That World Tournament Gohan that no one fucking has. But other than that, yeah, this guy's... Yeah, he's, he's a... He's a... He's in the same boat as LR Jiren. But anyways, um, LR Goku Black Zamasu is easier. I think they are... I think Zamasu might be... No, no, Goku Black Zamasu are better. Because they have an easier time getting their their um stats off. They uh, they have guard for a specific amount of turns, like four turns. They build up their key attack and defense, and then they just they go to town with their fucking twelve million attacks that sit next to LR Zamasu. Um, next unit we have LR EB. LR EB is I don't think LR EB is S. I'm sorry, I think he's A. I think the main problem with LR EB is he does start with all his damage reduction. He is on the two hundred percent leader skill, but that doesn't really help him out any way, shape, or form. It doesn't. That damage reduction is the main focal point of that unit. Uh. Let's see, let's see. Go to the trunks. I put them in already. LRUI Goku. But I say he's S. He's S. He's S. Because if you take a look at him outside of the red zone, he still shits on most of the events in the game. I mean, even long events, too. You can still run to burn those fucking bosses down with his attack stat and his defense that he built up from his dodging. So, yeah. I would say that he's probably, I would say he's better. He's, like, better than these two. I can, you can't sleep on this guy. You really can't. It's like he doesn't do too well in the red zone. I mean, physical genetic. I mean, uh, nah. I think he's better. I think he's better. I think he's better than these two guys. Hmm. I mean, it's cause it's just it's just because red zone. Yeah, no, he's S. He's low S. Yeah. This guy kind of did fall off though. He kind of did it fall off. Yeah, he's right there. He's right there. Uh, let's see. We have Go Freeze. Go Freeze. It. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stick by it. Go Freeze is B. Go Freeze is B for me, man. The reason why I say, oh, Incel better than Turles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because AJL sells better than. Uh, oh no 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 no. Oh Genyu. Yeah no no. Because Genyu is way better leader than. Yeah yeah. Okay. Um. Go Freezer, the reason why I put him in B is because Go Freezer just, Universal Swap Saga is dead, Reps Universe 7 is dead, and this unit is not usable in the newer, harder content. So, I mean, their damage, I mean, they can still shit out damage, but you have GT Trio, who can do it way safer, and have a better leader skill to rock over Go Freezer. Like I said, GT Trio is Go Freezer, but better. So, B, for sure. Uh, LR Nappa Vegeta, I would say that this unit is definitely an easy B. I feel like they are better than Goku and Piccolo, though. Yeah, this unit is just like, it's just, why, do you, why would you ever use this unit? Um, LN and Vegeta, I mean, of course, they have utility. They have that third turn, 100% chance to dodge their AoE. And if I'm not correct, they heal when they exchange. Yeah. So, I mean, they have something there for Super Battle Royale, but that's really about it. And for World Tournament, too. Uh, go to the Trunks. I would say they are also... Oh, no, no. They're, I mean, but Nappa and Vegeta B? Hmm... I'm I'm tempted to move Tape Elmanosha down with this Goku and Piccolo. I'm tempted. I'm gonna move Tape Elmanosha and Goku and Piccolo down. Uh Tape Elmanosha and yeah. I think you're worse though. Yeah, okay, I like it like this. 
I think, ooh, Blue Fusion's better than these guys, though. Oof, the more I think about it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, 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 I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Uh, oh, Blue Fusion suck, though. Yeah, I'm sorry. Blue Fusion, you gotta go down to see. Yeah, you guys are just useless. Uh, <clears throat> Nappa Vegeta, I'm move you guys down to see also because your damage is superbly un unimpressive and is, I mean, you have good linking partners. Like, well, you have a good linking partner. You have a Nappa, the SDR Nappa, but that's really about it. Yeah, I'm moving you guys down like right here. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, moving on over to next unit, we have Go Bros. I think Go Bros are, I think Go Bros are like C or B. I think Obros is C. They just don't work well in this specific meta because they're just a build-up unit from old LGE days. Uh, hmm. I think they're C, but like, where would I, where would I put them ahead? They're like right back here. Like right back here. Yeah, like right over here. Gobros just don't work no more. Uh, Tech Broly. <clears throat> Tech Broly C. Because Tech Broly does not gain defense in a super attack effect. It's just like he just doodles, he just shits out damage. Doodles fucking damage out. Uh, I would say he's like right around here. Better than Gohan? No. Better than Goten Trunks? No. No. I would say like right here. Yeah. Um, who's next? Golden Freezer 17. I think this unit is C. I think this unit is like right, right here. Definitely right here. Yeah. This unit is terrible. It's a terrible unit. One of those build up damage rushes within the same turn, just like Tapia Minosha. Bad. A terrible unit. No defense in a super attack effects. Damage rush within the same turn. That does just doesn't work in any way, shape, or form. And a severe lack of teams. Bad unit. Um, who's next? Physical cell? I think physical cell is is he is he S? I think he's S. I think he's S. But he's like right right back here. Because AGL Cell just makes him look so good. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Is he better than UI? Probably. Probably not. Probably probably not. I think that's fair though. Yeah, I like it like that. Um, let's see. Who's next? Who's next? LR Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Um, you're in the same boat as Team Universe 7. But hmm. I think not a tape of has AGL tape on though. Yeah, uh, we're gonna put you like in B. I think you're like right around. You're like right here. You're like right here because you can actually look pretty good on the Boo Saga team. Hmm. No, you're C, buddy. Yeah, I'm bumping you down. Now I'm thinking about it more. You're like down here. Yeah. All right, uh, who's next? Who's next? God Goku. I would say God Goku is probably A. God Goku, of course, you know, he has a 50% chance to dodge and crit. And he's also he also works well next to the LR gods. So he can definitely, I could definitely say that he's a safe A. I would say he's better than Krillin and Gohan. And better than Incel. Better than Turles? Him on the gods rotation definitely looks good, though. Yeah, I would say he's better than Turles. Better than Jiren? Yeah. I would say better than Super Saiyan 2 Gohan? Yeah. Better than Kalen Khalifa? Yeah. Trunks and Mai? No. I'd probably say no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. The LR gods rotation. That, that shit works too well. Uh, God Goku and hit tech hits rotation? Yeah. Uh, better than the Gohan? Uh, better than EB? Yeah, I would say he's leader. Mm, better than EB. HL Evolution Blue Vegeta right Nah, the God's rotation just that shit just shits on his rotation. Yeah. I'll say he's leader of A. And now that I'm thinking about I want to bump you up over Gohan. Yeah. Okay. Uh what's next? What's next? LR4 Power Freezer. Now he is gonna get an easy A during the worldwide celebration. So I think I will go ahead. Of course, pretty easy. I think he's D. I think his unit is just bad. I think the only thing that saves this unit is probably his links. But that's really about it. This unit doesn't do too much for you pretty easy of course this unit is it's quite terrible his defense is not good and you must fall below a certain hp threshold to get the rest of his passive off one moment because damn talking for 44 minutes is nice
also if you guys are wondering of course i, I have other video ideas coming i'm not gonna only do tearless videos don't worry trust me i'm not gonna only do tearless videos anyways um uh, i think the last people we need to talk about is lr baby and then all the way down to team universe 7 okay lr super baby 2 i think lr super baby 2 is in c tier i think super baby 2 is a tad bit underwhelming he's either c or b no he's c c he's c he's right behind Maja vegeta no, right behind Tapeo Minosha. No, right behind. Uh, I think he's right behind Tech Broly. No, no, he's he's better than Tech Broly. He got better defense than Tech Broly, but not a better attack stat. Yeah, I think he's better than Tech Broly because of his defense. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Buhan. S. The problem with Buhan, no team, no Lincoln partner. That's really about it. No updated team slash Lincoln partner. But other than that, Buhan got you. Also, no big bad boss before he transforms. Anyways, move on to the next unit. I want to finish this shit out because it's been 45 minutes. <laughs> Alright, um, let's see, let's see. <clears throat> Broly Chain and Lemo, I think they're right. Because uh Int Chi Lai has definitely resurrected this unit out of the mud. Now, I know they they, they can only be used on Bond the Friendship, but hey, it's worth it because you have Tech Pan on there. Uh Better than Krillin and Gohan. And better than Incel. Better than... No, that's it. That's it. Better than Incel. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. AJLR Gohan. Then the Team Universe 7. That's going to be that. Okay, so AJLR Gohan is A. But he's like low A. I think Cell's better though. Because I think that AJL Cell's leader skill is better than... um Better than the uh, Exchange Goku and Gohan leader skill. Uh, Then you have Team, team Universe 7. You can put like right around B. B or A, B or C, because they're in the same boat as Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. If they're in the same boat as Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, I think it's fair to bump this unit up, because this unit can actually look, this unit can look impressive. Better than Bojack and Rose. Yeah, not better than Bojack though. I think Bojack's like right around here. Yeah, I like this. I like this. That's it. I think that's the whole tier list. Um, would I change anybody? No. I think that's really good. This tier list looks good to me. Of course, if you guys have any concerns, thoughts, questions, anything, just go ahead and comment down below. But yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. Don't worry. I'm not going to be doing tier list videos for the rest of my fucking time on YouTube. But don't worry. It's not going to happen. I'm just doing this because I said I was going to do this six months later. It's been like five months, I guess. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next video. Thank you for watching. Peace.